Oh, what is this? Aqua Rainbow. What? <laughs> you got you guys see this? Whoa, I I bet you that paint is probably like $25,000. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rides, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where finally today we have public access to Maserati's Fierce Siri customization program. It's been out for like two years and we've seen cars on the channel with Fierce Siri options but never have been able to check out the configurator and make our own as we would if we were Fierce Siri customers for Maserati models such as the MC20, um, the Maserati Levante, the Maserati Quattro Porte, and the Maserati Ghibli. Now, I don't think the Gracale is ready yet for Fear Siri, but with that said, we will have the Gracale on Fear Siri where you can actually do custom, you know, paint colors and stuff outside of what you see in the standard options. But with that said, here we are. We're going to block the location. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna check it out. I mean, guys, um, yeah, it's just, I want to go through this like I do with all the configurators with you guys, sight unseen. Uh, we're just going to learn this together. But before I start, I want to say if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel because, you know, when you do, get more opportunities to get more beautiful Maseratis, Alfa Romeos, and Ferraris out to you guys. We're going to keep bringing the heat. So with that said, here we are, the configurator for Fierce Siri. Um, as you can see from the main picture here, there's a lot of combinations and colors and everything you guys can go with. This is really cool on Maserati's part, and it's really what's going to set itself aside from a lot of, um, you know, standard brands um, in this category. Um, you know, when people do say, you know, <clears throat> they compare Maserati and Alfa Romeo to a sense, I get it. But when you're paying more for a Maserati, you should have more options, um, you know, as far as materials, paints and you know engines drivetrains all that stuff you know so with that said i think that this makes sense for maserati um alfa romeo to get something like this it may take a while and alfa romeo might not be interested in anything like this you know maserati is more of the luxury brand where alfa romeo is more of the sporty brand um so yeah guys let's check this out i'm going to stop rum uh rambling but i'm going to tell you guys i'm going to give you your forewarning okay i am not going to be able to pronounce 60% of these names more than likely. Okay. So you guys will see them on the screen. Um, and then when you do see them on the screen, you guys can Google translate them or you'll already know the pr pronunciations, um, without even having to do that. So with that said, we're going to go to style your car. All right. And the MC 20 pops up first, but as you can see, you can choose model there, Quattro Porte, Ghibli Levante. So let's start all the, all the way on the right hand side with the Levante. Whoa. Oh, okay. That was a glitch. <laughs> so they have to work out some kinks. So Maserati, if you're watching this, we have a couple of kinks here, but here we are. So as you can see, we have the paints, liveries and dreamlines, brakes and wheels and leather stitching. So as you can see, it looks kind of like our current simulator or si simulator configurator, uh, where you can press the arrows and change the views. Um, this is just for the exterior for paints. I'm wondering if I go to leather, then I'll be able to change the view for the interior. Okay. It's loading slow, but it's getting there. That might be my computer. So we do see the inside here and yes, you can change. Okay. Awesome. All right. So, um, to keep this from being too long and winded guys, we're just going to go for everything right away. So let's start with paint for the Levante. As you can see, Grigio Martia matte. That's what we start with. Then we have blue Royale. Really nice color, blue sophisticado. Pretty sure we've seen that before. I want to say I've seen that before. Bronzo, you know, that's going to be on the new Gracale. Verde Royale. Uh, I think a couple of, uh, I think we've seen that before. Yeah, we've seen that before at Rick Case Maserati. Blue Maserati. And keep in mind this configuration, configurator, the colors aren't going to show how it should, but it gives you an idea. Rosso Magma, we've seen Rosso Magma on a car before. And crazy. We've seen Giallo Modenes, which um, that's probably the one that's on the Trofeo Gricale that we just saw. I'm almost, I'm, I'm almost positive. Uh, Bianco Avario. I've seen one Gran Turismo, I believe, in this color. We also have, wow, Bordeaux Puente Vecchio. I don't know. <laughs> guys, help me out on that one. Wow. There's a whole nother set of colors, guys. I'm going to try to keep this quick uh blue whatever that name is 
Ah, that's beautiful. Orange zest. That's, wow. Can you imagine seeing an orange Maserati driving around? Blue denim. I think we've seen something like this before, actually, in the Levante uh, Modena S. Azuro Astro Matte. That looks really cool. I do like that. Nero Luce. Or Luce. We also have Bianco Cristallo. That looks cool. Very creamy. Hyper Green. I know I've seen some Maseratis. Not in person, but I've seen some Maseratis in Hyper Green before. Urban Green. All right. Like a darker green. Blue Graphite. And Night Interaction. Interesting. And there's one more. One more. Grigio Petra. All right. So those are our exterior colors in Fierce Siri. And holy crap, there's a lot. We're just going to keep it on that Grigio for the last ones. And we're going to go to Liveries and Dreamline and see what we got. Wow. All right. So we automatically cannot get Corsa Base on this side uh, for both sides here. We can't get these. Okay. But we can add stripes, the double stripes in Bianca. The double stripe in Rosso Corsa, the double stripe in Nira, and the birdcage Bianco Avorio, which it blends in too much there. So let's do the red. That looks cool. We've seen those stripes before on a Trofeo Ghibli. And then Corsa Bianco. Oh, wait, what is that? What does that change? Oh, so right up here are the nostrils. The front lip and the side skirt, and this is these are these are carbon fiber pieces. You can actually get a white trim or pinstriping, a giallo one, a red one, wow, and a blue one. That's crazy. Look at this stuff, guys. Wow, there's so many different options. This op opens up a whole new world for Maserati. All right, we're gonna stick with red there. We're gonna go with brakes and wheels. Um, let's. Oh, actually, hold on. Let's go back. Because I want to see the back view. I'm just looking at the front. So yeah, you can definitely see the striping there. That's cool. And then the back view has the striping above on the body line above the exhaust. All right. Cool. All right. So brakes and wheels. So now we're going to change to a wheel view. And we can have our uh, Rosso Corsa, which we have currently. Blue Classic. Hey, we've seen those Futura Lime calipers before. I mean, hey, we just saw we saw them on a Maserati Ghibli I, I did a video on. And then Silver Polished. All right. Keep it at the Silver Polished. No, actually, we'll go back to red. Keep keep delivery going. And then the wheels. We can go the Orione White um, with Blue Classic Accent. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this one. Oriano, Ori, Orione Black with the Lime Accent. Jeez. Imagine this with the lime calipers. <laughs> That's cool, but we're just going to go with the standard and roll so there. All right. So, wow, guys. All right. <laughs> Leather stitching going inside. So, there's a lot here. You can do black leather with uh, living coral stitching. So, that's what we have here. All right. We can do pale terracotta with pale terracotta stitching. Wow. Okay. Terracotta on terracotta. Then you have pair of terracotta with gray stitching. All right. So you got the gray there. And then this is cool. Blue mandarin with blue mandarin stitching. That looks really cool with the black accents. I like that. You could do that same stitching. Oh, sorry. It's that same color with white stitching. That looks the best to me. You also have living coral with white stitching. All right. That looks good. Very classic. Black leather with white stitching. Keeping it classic. Or black leather with lime stitching. And again, we saw this in our Fierce Siri Maserati Ghibli. So that makes a lot of sense. I'm going with the... I know it doesn't match anything, but that looks cool. Come on. Come on, guys. That looks cool. And yeah, that's it. So that's how you do your Fierce Siri there. You can do the paints, liveries, and dreamlines, brakes, and wheels and leather and stitching. That's cool. All right. So let's go over, change the model to the Ghibli. Since we know all this stuff now, I'm just going to kind of, there's the glitch again. I'm going to kind of quickly go over it. But as you can see, we're doing it on Trofeo models. So the highest spec, most powerful of the bunch. Uh, so since we've already gone over everything in the um, uh, Levante, I'll just show you how everything looks 
on the Ghibli. And if I see anything that's new, that's specific to the Ghibli, I'll let you know. Like when it comes to paint colors, we saw a Ghibli in that paint color. Um, then I will let you guys know. I'm pretty sure we saw one in that paint color too. Man, these are, I, I couldn't imagine. I, I'm glad I don't have the money for this in a way because I wouldn't be able to choose. You know what? We saw, we saw, didn't we see a Levant, or not a Levante, a Ghibli at Maserati Fort Lauderdale in this same color? And I, w I did a video on it because I was amazed. I'm pretty sure we saw it in that same color and it was a Fury Siri color. So, which is crazy. I've seen some of these and just now actually getting to see them in the uh, spec configurator. All right, let's go with let's go with an odd color like this, blue denim. All right, so we've seen everything for the exterior, so nothing has changed there. The dream lines, let's see how they dif uh, differentiate on the Ghibli. Not much. You got double stripe, uh, double stripe in white and red and black, and the birdcage style. I do not like the birdcage style as much um, on the Ghibli there. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know. It looks kind of out of place. I think it'll look a lot better on the MC20, which I'll probably do one on the MC20 configurator. Now, this is cool with the um, the accents here. So let's try to do, let's do white with white stripes. How about that? You guys might hate it, but let's, let's try that. That doesn't look bad, right? It's probably a little tacky, but it might be a little bit much, but who, who cares? Well, we're going to do it, guys. All right, and then our calipers. Let's go to the wheels. We can go with blue, green, or silver. So we'll stick with silver and the same kind of wheels uh, for the Levante you get for the Ghibli, which I'm surprised, but they are Orione wheels on the Ghibli. I don't think I've seen a Ghibli with Orione wheels before, so that's, that's different. What do you guys think about that? I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out because I don't think I've seen these wheels in person on a Ghibli. Now, hopefully you guys can see the wheels good enough when I do that view, but yeah, um, we're going to just go with the standard wheels and then the stitching inside. Now it looks like this might be a little different than a Levante. So we'll see. Let's see. All right. The coral. All right. With black. We also have a terracotta with terracotta, terracotta with gray. We have coral with uh, coral. We have the blue, which I love, but you just get blue on blue. You don't get a blue and gray stitching with this one. Then you have living coral with white stitching, red leather with red stitching by color. Oh, okay, nice. I really like that. I really like that. Um, it reminds me of the Amena Gildo Zinnia that I had for my Ghibli. And then, oh, and then you add the Nero, uh, not the Nero, the, uh, what is it? The white stitching. Yes. So that looks really cool. I think these are only two views we got, but that, that looks really cool. All right. So there's our Ghibli. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> there we go. There's our Ghibli. What do you guys think? The wheels are so slow to load, but there they are. Can you guys see them? Okay. Um, I, I love it. Uh, I mean, obviously again, to each their own, but that's the cool part about this is that, you know, you'll be able to make your own and there's so many different color combos and, and liveries that you can do that the, the possibilities are endless. So let's see for the QP. What do we have? Probably nothing too much different when it comes to the paints and stuff. Oh, it faces the QP a different way. It's facing this way towards us this time. So that's a change. <laughs> All right. And then uh, let's talk about colors. Uh, the colors are looking the same. We might have to go for that Verde Royale. All of them are nice. All of them are nice, but. Whew. Man, that Astro Matte looks cool, too. I don't know. You guys are gonna have to tell me your favorite colors down below in the comments. Mm, mm -mm. Well, I think I'm going to go for the old man QP 
Bianco Avario. I think that's the color we saw in that Ghibli was Bianco Avario. It wasn't the other one. It was this one. Uh, so we have seen this color in person. So since we've seen this color in person, never mind. I won't do it. I'll do, uh, we've seen this color in person. I think I've seen that in person. Let's go with, let's go with Verde Royale. Haven't seen this in person yet. Liveries and Dreamlines. I don't know if we want to do stripes. I don't think for the sake of doing it. And I don't like the birdcage on that. So we won't do that. Oh, I do like that that changes the Trofeo badges. Okay, so this one's a little different with the QP. It changes the Trofeo portholes a different color. So if you look at the portholes there, that changes with it, but nothing changes up front. And let's see about, we'll go white. Let's see, no, let's not, let's go red so we can see it. Let's see if there's anything that changes in the back. Wait, is that it? No. Okay, yeah, no, nothing changes in the back. So it's just the portholes and the sides for the Quattro Porte. So they keep a, a little bit more classic, um, which is cool that you can change the porthole color. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's uh, they keep it simple for the QP. Um, but I think we can do without it. So let's go with the brakes and wheels. What do you guys see here? That we can do we can do the blue green on green or polished we're gonna keep it red wheels are exactly the same all right so the the fear series wheels are gonna be these two options mc20 should be interesting so i think we're gonna keep that the same too nothing i really want to change for this spec i'll i'll, I'll go crazy for the uh oh what happened we disappeared when I went to interiors, we disappeared. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to keep it the same, uh, or not keep it the same, but do something different when it comes to the, um, dang, what happened? I don't know. Let's go back. Um, I think I'm going to do something different when it comes to the MC20. So you guys will see something crazy there. Guys, what the heck? The configurator has died on me. Okay, let's go back. All right, and let's just check out the interior because obviously the QP does not want to uh, load properly for us here. But remember, this is new. They're going to work out all the bugs, hopefully. All right, here we go. QP looks really good already. Jeez. All right. Black with the coral. Terracotta, terracotta, terracotta with gray, coral with coral, blue on blue, coral with white, the bi, I love the bi so much, black with white, black with lime green. That's it, black with lime green, we'll keep it that way. So obviously this is not the spec that I picked out, but here we are. So let's finish it all off with the MC20, the big boy. We do not have the CLO on here yet, so there's no convertible yet. That's not out yet to order for us, at least. So we're here with the coupe. Here we are. Check out the paints. They're probably going to be different. All right. So Bianco Adals, this is the matte color finish that you normally see. Um, that's going to be your next color. This is uh, Bianco Pastello, but we've seen Bianco Adults before, just in a recent video, but not glossy. We've seen matte. So I'm not sure if this is different compared to the other one. So uh, yeah, who knows if that's a different kind of white paint. These are the only two views they're giving us for the MC20. Come on. They're not even giving us a back view. All right. Well, let's move it on. Vintage Orca. All right. So again, I think this is close to the same colors that we've seen on or you know, that the MC20 already offers. Not sure because this looks a little darker. Who knows? Birdie Royale. That looks cool. Blue Course of Matte. That looks really cool. Blue Victory. I like that. I like that. So these colors are obviously a little different. Uh, blue Maserati. That's a deep, deep blue. Orange Zest. That is one we've seen. Orange Glow. 
Oh, wow. Could you imagine a bright orange MC20 driving around? Urban green. That, that's, that's wild. Bianco Alabastro. All right. So, yeah, some of these names are different. Whether the color is more premium or cost more, probably. But we'll see. Uh, rose gold liquid metal. Wow. That's kind of cool. I like that. Military teal matte. A military green matte Maserati paint. Wow. Futura denim. Oh, what is this? Aqua rainbow. What? <laughs> you, got, you guys see this? Whoa. I, I bet you that paint is probably like $25,000. Like, no lie. A zero astro matte. That's kind of cool. Hyper green. Oh my gosh. Somebody's going to somebody's going to spec their MC20 in this. I know it. Digital mint. What? This looks like toothpaste. <laughs> this looks like a mint Oreo cookie. That's crazy. Blue graphite texturized. Ooh, texturized. Oh, that's you can see the texture in the paint. That's that's pretty wild. And I know my face is in the way on this one. Sorry about that, guys. There's more. Wait, tell me this just keeps. Oh, okay. Here we go. Blue graphite. Let me go back so you guys can see this better. And then night interaction. All right. This is kind of like a cool looking, like metallic, sparkly black. Night interaction. I love the name. Well, obviously, guys, I'm going to have to go with this one. That, <laughs> that looks insane. So the MC20 colors are definitely top tier. Um, yeah, I love them. So there's no interior. Wow, there's no interior. You can only do liveries and dream lines and brakes and wheels. So you cannot do any Fierce Siri interiors for the MC20. Huh, interesting. So liveries and dream lines. So we have a little bit more. So we got the stripes there. Red, blue, black, MC12 competition, Nero. Okay, that's the MC12 stripe. That's really cool. The MC12 comp stripe. Well, we can't see it from there. We only get the front view. That's cool. Not to the MC12. We got it in white as well. And then the birdcage. Rosso, look at that. See, the birdcage looks so much better on the MC20, how it actually covers the whole front fascia. The blue, the alabastro. Oh, I like that. Blue, em blue emblema. So you add the red here and the nostril in the rear as well. Well, going to the C pillar kind of section there. I can't see the rear because they don't show you that view. And then the blue down, down the center. I really like that. And then you also have MC12 Tributo. Okay, so MC12 livery. That's cool. All right. And then you have asymmetric Rosso Corsa. Whoa. Okay. That's like, whoa, hold on. Because look, this side is the red mirror. This side is the color mirror that I chose. I forget the name already. Okay, that's different. What is this? That's different. Okay, and then aqua. Oh, 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 good God. This is insane. Okay, then that's it. Wow. Um, geez, I'm going to have to go with this. I think it looks the best with this livery because, I mean, I can, I can create like an MC12 livery if I wanted to. Um, they make it really easy for you here, but I think that this looks the best with this, but again, that's my taste. So now we have the red calipers. We'll go to the wheels, red calipers, blue calipers, that's the green. We're going to go with blue here. And then the wheels, you do matte black machine polished or Futura Trident glossy black. So we'll go with that. <laughs> Look, it doesn't have any wheels. That's kind of funny. Uh, the glitches, the glitches. All right. looks like somebody stole our... MC20 and put it on bricks and or sorry, they stole the wheels to our MC20 and put it on bricks and uh, now it's propped up. Oh, I hope that doesn't ever happen to anybody. Let's try to get it with the wheels. Okay, it is not working with the wheels. So let me change the wheel. There we go. Okay, okay, we just have to do it from that view. 
All right, what do you guys think about my MC20 spec? <laughs> that was great. Um, wow. Um, just for just for just, let's try it real quick, guys. Let's just try to re recreate the MC12 right here. And then I guess well the brakes doesn't count. But yeah, that's kind of like an MC12 livery there, right? Or you'd have to do the MC12 competition like that. But I think I like um well, you can do MC12 and Bianco, but you can't see it on that white paint. Yeah, that's that's kind of cool. Give it an MC12 look. That's really cool. But yeah, okay, guys. Here we are. Furious Siri. This is it. All right. So, wow. There's so many different things you can do uh, with Maserati Furious Siri. Um, what do you guys think about this? This is, this is really cool. Um, you guys got to get on here. Try it out for yourself. Let me know what your favorite liveries are. Uh, let me know the different colors and everything and options. And if you were to spec one out or if you plan on specking one out, what are you going to do for your Maserati Furious Siri? This brings it into a whole new level because now I can get the opportunity to see some of these things in person when they come to dealerships. Um, I've already seen some in person when it come to dealerships. Not too wild, but, you know, like I said, we've seen uh, the uh, Bianco Avario. We've seen the Acid Green Calipers and Interior. So it's just even better knowing that we can see even more stuff um, and all the different options that could come to these dealerships if people are brave enough to spec them out. So with that said, very excited about that. It came public finally. Had to share it with you guys. Um, very, 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 very geeked. This is cool. What do you guys think? I'm in love with it. And really just Maserati, chef's kiss. You guys have outdone yourself on this one. So with that said, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. When you give the video a like, helps get it up in the rankings. More people can see it. And we can have a bigger discussion on the Maserati Fierce Siri customization program configurator finally open to the public, specking out your dream Maserati in any way possible. Now, with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel and enjoy what I do here, make sure you check the links down in the description below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and my Patreon. Just in case you guys want to help donate an extra dollar or two to the channel, I appreciate the extra love and support, guys. Thank you so much. Guys, it means the world. Now, you guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch. You guys can get t-shirts, sliders, tank tops, hoodies, everything Ron's Rise is there. And I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok. See everything I'm posting? Ferrari, Maserati, and Alfa Romeo that doesn't always make it here to the channel. Then make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. But click that notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. And we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.